It's Constance. I am back with another Thread Up Rescue Box. Um, if you haven't been here before, I am a part-time reseller and a full-time teacher. Reselling is something I've done for many years. It's something I just kind of do on the side when I'm off work here and there, um, just as another income for my family. I have really enjoyed getting these Thread Up Rescue Boxes and it's been a super simple way for me to get inventory. Not that I've got it all listed because I definitely haven't working on that. Um, but it's been very, it's been a very good source of inventory for me. So I really enjoyed it and I love watching all of you guys' unboxings. This time I got a 25 item, 25 item women's box. Um, I think I paid like $68 for it. So this is the first time I've gotten women's clothing. Yeah, this is the first women's clothing box I've got. So I have no idea what to expect. I'm hoping it's good as some of you guys. I don't know, it might be terrible. I, another little kind of uh, fact, I resell, I have very few times taken items to Play-Doh's closet. I don't really know of any buy sell trades around me. I would have to travel about an hour to Tampa to get to any of those like consignment or Play-Doh's Closet stores. So the few times I have taken items to Play-Doh's Closet, I went through and I thought I had like really good stuff and they took like two things. So I don't I don't know if it was just that store. I don't I don't know. I don't know. I thought I had great stuff. So that's not usually like something that I do in my business, but maybe maybe i hope this is not full of things that i don't really want to resell because i really hope it's mostly things i can either donate or straight to goodwill or or list on ebay so that's my plan this box is from suwanee georgia i feel like my bo my boxes that have been from suwanee georgia have been the better boxes so i don't know good job good job georgia so it is not opened. You can see I have not opened it. I haven't peeked. I haven't looked in. And here's my invoice. Yeah, it just says mixed clothing rescue box. Um, sixty dollars, and I think it was about six or eight dollars tax or maybe i paid shipping i don't know i can't remember i must have paid shipping on this too i don't know how much it was to be exact but before tax and shipping of sixty dollars so here is the tissue papers so cute fingers crossed oh, I do not love the first item First thing is a blazer. I don't like selling blazers. Not at all. Not even a little bit. I think I've said that before in one of the men's unboxings, but I don't like it. This one is the brand Casper. And I want to say that's just like Macy's or something like that. You can get at the department store. I mean, it's cute. It's a nice fabric. It feels kind of Feels kind of, now I'm curious of what kind of fabric it is. Um, viscose and silk. I don't know. I doubt I sell it, but maybe I'll, I'll look it up. Okay, next item. Another blazer, it looks like. This one is actually not terrible. This is um, halogen, which I'm pretty sure halogen is a Nordstrom brand or Nordstrom house brand. Um, this one is a zip. It's a full zip, but it's kind of cute because it has kind of like a, a peplum detail on the bottom. I don't know. I mean, it might be, it might not be what people are looking for right now. It might be like, you know, 10 years ago. I don't know, but it's still kind of cute. I'll have to check that out. Probably we'll list that. Ooh about this one good job Georgia um, this is a lulu lemon scuba hoodie so 
So I'm pretty sure this is a scuba hoodie. And I've sold it before. Ooh, and it has a size tag. Special edition. Hmm. I don't know if you can see that, but it um, is a size four. It has like a big, I don't know, logo there, but it says special edition. Has a very nice zipper. And then on the back, you can see the Lululemon there. And then it has this like weird, I don't, I don't know, maybe this is like some weird zipper here. So it has like a big pocket on the back. I've never seen a jacket like this from Lululemon. So hmm, maybe it's something interesting. Maybe it's something people want. I don't know. Hmm. So that's promising. I don't see anything. There's, I'm sure there's gotta be something wrong with it, but nothing that's like jumping out at me. I mean, it does have some wash wear, but I mean, overall it looks pretty good. Very happy about that. Next item. Ooh, I'll take it. It is like a double-breasted jacket, blazer, but I love the gold buttons and it's um, Zara, Zara Basic. So it has shoulder pads, gold buttons. Oh, that's why it's in this box. So this center button is missing. So, if it has a button on the inside, that could possibly be an easy fix, but I do not see a button on the inside. So, hmm, yeah, I don't, I don't think there's much I could do about that unless I could somehow find a gold button that looks exactly like these gold buttons, but I don't sew, so this probably, unless it's something, you know, I really sought after, I'm probably gonna just redonate this. Let's see, next thing. Hmm. It is a short sleeve cardigan. Just like an open front cardigan, and it is Banana Republic. I mean, it's soft, it feels nice. It is 45% wool, 25% viscose. I'm probably saying things wrong, I'm sorry. 20% um, nylon and 10% cashmere. So, I mean, it, it feels very nice. So I probably will list this and hopefully get like, you know, even if I get like 10 or $15, like, sounds good to me. Okay, looks like I have quite a few pairs of pants and jeans coming up next. Kind of all just rolled up together, so. Um, first pair of jeans, ooh, happy about this. Cool. It is a pair of Madewell, a pair of Madewell jeans. And, let's see. These are size so 28 and they're the stove pipe. So they're not skinny, so I'm happy about that. So I'm guessing they have the raw hem. So I'm thinking these will be okay. I, I'm very happy to get made well. I'm trying to see what year this, these are from. These are from fall of 2020 so these are these are relatively like a new a newer style so happy about that another pair of jeans okay these are calvin klein jeans it says four four petite they are flare um they look like a low rise though so I'm not sure, I might have, I might kind of look up comps and see if these are anything. Um, they do have like the traditional like Calvin Klein pocket. I don't know, I'll just have to see, see what I find out about those. Maybe list, maybe, maybe donate, I don't know. Um, let's see, another pair of jeans. These are White House Black Market and they are size 14 short. 
they look they look like they're kind of a lower rise I think I'm pretty sure but they are boot cut so probably probably will donate these they're a bigger size though so I might I might look up comps and see what I can find out about those and decide on those later also so keep going next thing these are a pair of I love selling workout like workout gear I love it that's my favorite if I could pick anything it'd probably be like bras and um, workout gear it's just a lot easier to measure it's a lot easier to take pictures of it's a lot easier to ship I don't just easy however these are I mean they are they look like they're a pair of full-length leggings they are Columbia but the size and like they're they're kind of worn they don't I mean they don't the fabric doesn't feel worn at all but if you can see the label the the name has like worn off so most likely these will get donated because I don't know the size but I can measure but in the Columbia I don't know I'm, I might list them oh, let's see what is this this is like velvet exciting hmm Okay, so this is a dress, a velvet dress. I wish I would have, this might have been really good for the holidays, which today is like December 16th, I think. I might still try to list it. It is the brand Isaac Mizrahi Live, and I believe that is from HSN. I don't know where else you can get it. I think you get it on HSN. It is a size 16 though, so um, I probably will try to get this listed. I will probably just check it over and try to get that listed pretty quick. It's kind of cute. Um, here looks like a pair of dress pants next. So here are the dress pants. They are the brand Liz Claiborne Career Woman. They're size 18 so because they're size 18 and they look like they're relatively in good condition I don't mind selling bigger sizes so I'm happy to sell bigger sizes actually so I probably they feel new they feel really nice so I probably will list these even though it's Liz Claiborne we'll see what we'll see what I can get with those next ooh, this is a good brand I'm not sure how cool this skirt is but Oh, it needs a repair. So this is what the rescue boxes are all about, and I'm learning that. This is an orange skirt, and it's, I'm, I'm gonna butcher this name also. Leaf's Daughter, Leaf's Daughter, uh, size eight. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this brand is sold at Anthropology. Somebody correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. It's cute. It's cute. I just would have to repair that button. It's just, it depends on, you know, skirts are kind of hit and miss. Oh, it's got a couple of repair issues. So on the side seam, can, right there. I mean, I'm sure for a seamstress, this would be a super easy fix. I mean, it's, it's a cute skirt. I like how it has the little little slits in the front on both sides you know i don't know if i showed the back but i'll probably with this piece i'll probably look it up see what comps are going for if it's an older dated piece that nobody wants donate if it is something good and it looks like people are maybe buying it i probably will take it to a seamstress we have a seamstress down the street and um see if she can fix that really quick so We'll see. We'll have to look that one up. Next item. Oh, I, you know what? New with tags. So this is a, another skirt. I'm not sure where the front is. I think I'm holding it wrong. So it looks like just like a pencil, plain black pencil skirt. It is J. Crew. Original fit. And let's see what, let's see how old this is. 
Well, it's 100% wool, so that's good, but it is from spring of 2013. So it's definitely an older, an older piece, but a wool pencil skirt like this, I think is something that always will sell eventually. It might not sell quick, but I think it's something that I should definitely list and um, see if I can get something out of it. I'm, as far as comps, I don't always, I don't pick up skirts. I don't look at skirts when I go to the thrift store, so I'm not even sure what comps like this on something like this would be, so. Fingers crossed it's something good. Next item. It is another skirt. I feel like I've gotten quite a few skirts in this box. This one, it's it's cute. I don't I just I don't know if this is something people will be looking for. It is, it's a it's J. Crew. And it is a newer, like this black tag is like the newer tag, I believe. I'm sorry. We have a heard like dog sitting. This is from summer of 2016. So, I mean, it's cute. This will be easy to list. I can, you know, it won't take too long to measure that. So, and it seems to be in pretty good condition. So I probably will list this and hopefully I can get, you know, 10 or $15 for it. Um, I see sequins. So I'm kind of intrigued by this next item. Hmm. It's actually really cute. I wish, I wish it was my size. It is a dress and it's kind of like, I don't know if you can see, but it's like a, it's like lighter gold on the top. So it's like ombre and it goes down to like a dark, like bronzier brown on the bottom. Um, it's tiny, it's an extra small, but it's Halston Heritage. Halston Heritage, I know retails for a lot. I don't know like resale. I don't know if this is something that would be a good resale. And I'm also curious why it's in this rescue box if there's some some damage to the sequence somewhere or the zipper. I mean, first glance it looks really it looks really nice. It's a cute dress. So this is probably something I will list. Okay, let's see. Next item. Another dress. It is Ann Taylor Loft. It does look like it has wash wear. I mean, it's cute, it has pockets. It's, it does look like it has wash wear though. Um, and it's, it's just a cotton dress, a size two. I probably will donate this. I don't know if, if it's just too much wash wear. And it's, I don't, it's not, I don't know if you guys can see, it's not like wash wear, it's just almost like maybe like a little bit faded. <sighs> uh, I don't know, I might have to take a closer look at that, but I'm thinking donate right now. Maybe, I mean, maybe I could get like 10 or $15 for it. I'm not sure. Um, that's like another dress. Ooh, I'm excited about this but I don't see it, I don't see a size. So if this is your first, you know, thread up rescue box unboxing, a lot of these pieces that come in these boxes do not have sizes because thread up does not take things that don't have a size tag. So if somebody cuts out the size tag, sends it to thread up, they just apparently fill up these boxes with things with no size tags, which is not a big deal because usually you can take measurements and kind of figure out the size that way. So. Here is the dress, it's super cute. It is Everlane. And maybe it has pockets, it's a V-neck. Maybe there's a size down here. I'm, I'll definitely list this. I'm not sure, I'm not sure about comps, but I should be able to get something for that. Okay, next item. I have a feeling this is Fabletics. I feel like I've seen this before. Um, yep, I knew it. So here is the Fabletics logo on the bottom. It's just a seamless, like perforated long sleeve workout top. And it, it does look kind of big. So I would say it's probably like a medium or a large. I will just take measurements and list this and hopefully with all the new year's resolutions coming up some people need some workout tops and i would hope i could get you know 15 or so for that 
so and it feels it feels it feels fairly new it doesn't feel like it's super worn so that's good okay next item oh guys I'm so excited about this oh my goodness like as soon as I get off this video I'm probably gonna go under another box yeah I'm sure something's wrong with it, guys. Oh, please, please let it be good. So it looks like, I don't know if you can see. I don't know if it's like a tunic or if it's like a, it can't be a dress. It has to be, it be a sweater. But look at the brand. What? Oh, my goodness. So it has, it's like a turtleneck sweater. It has like the famous like I don't I don't even know I don't I found I found Burberry like twice ever so this is pretty exciting to me um but it has like the the plaid that they're known for like along the buttons let's see if there's a size oh there is a size it's extra small 100% extra fine merino wool it feels really nice yeah I mean it doesn't there I mean there's got to be something wrong with it right I mean, why would they just put this in a rescue box? I don't know. Well, I don't see anything wrong with it. It is, it does have like some like fuzzies and kind of like dog hair on it. Oh, it has some deodorant. I don't know. It looks like it maybe has like deodorant on the armpits maybe. Or I hope that's not like faded, but I think that's deodorant. So I know they don't like they don't clean anything at thread up. So if it comes like and it's kind of dirty, they won't take it. So fingers crossed. Oh, this might be really good. Yeah. Okay, we're not done yet. I still have a few more pieces. And I, I'm super happy with everything I've gotten so far. So anything else is just icing on the cake. So this is cute. So this is just a flannel shirt. It does have some, it does have some wear, like I can tell right now. Um, I'm probably not gonna list this just based on wear, but it is J. Crew Factory. Just a flannel shirt with the Buffalo. Is that Buffalo check? Um, yeah, I don't know. Probably, probably donate that because of wear. Okay, next item. This is just like a career shirt and it is from The Limited, extra small. It's long sleeve. Oh, I don't see anything wrong with it. It looks like it's in really good condition. I, I might list this, just to see if I can try and get like 10 or $12 for it, so it's cute. Uh, let's see, this is interesting. I like the color, but it has, what are these, bell sleeves? Are these, I don't know what these are called. It's cute, I just don't know how, you know, if this is still like on trend, I don't know. But it's Ann Taylor. And it feel, it does feel nice, it feels like new. I don't know, I'm, I, I might list that because it, it feels really nice, it feels new. Let's see, a couple more, a couple more. I think this one might be a donate because the, the fabric tag is cut out. So probably not going to sell that. Next. Okay, so this is, it just looks like a career, like a career top. With the back zip, it is Ann Taylor, size 10. It feels very nice. Yeah, I don't know, I don't recognize that fabric, but um, I mean, it's, it looks really nice. I don't think I'll get a lot for it, but I think Ann Taylor is, correct me if I'm wrong, Ann Taylor is like the higher, like the nicer version of like loft. So maybe it's, maybe it's something good. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking like $15, so. Um, next thing. Okay, so this is like a like space dye or marled. I think this is like marled, um, but it is a little sweater and it is J. Crew. 
and this is the like the newer um, tag for J Crew. The it is acrylic, wool, cotton, and an other fiber, and it's from ooh. It feels pretty good for being from Holland from 2013. Um, I don't know. It's got the back zip. I might try to list it because it is a it is a wool sweater, so it feel it does feel nice. So probably probably a list, maybe fifteen or twenty dollars. Oh, I think this is the last thing. I get something good. Ooh, I think it is. Oh, super cute. It is a Madewell like cropped sweater, size small. And it really looks like it's in like new condition. Uh, let's see what the fabric is. Cotton, poly, polyamide, and polyester. So, but it is from summer of 2020. So yeah, so super cute. So I think I'm sure I could probably get like 20 or 30 dollars for this. So yeah, I am super happy with this box thread up the like I, I got a shoe box not that long ago and it was horrible <laughs> horrible i will link that down below if you want to go back and see that awful fail thread up rescue box just and just so you know if you have not gotten a rescue box before it's it's kind of like a surprise like you can't be disappointed technically because you don't you know it's not a guarantee so if you get a crappy box it's it's fine you know hopefully the next one will be better so um, I do appreciate that ThreadUp redeemed themselves on this one and I have quite a few things that I need to get listed soon and I am very confident that I will make my money back on this one. Yeah, so anyway, yeah, that's it. Box is empty. Um, but just as a reminder, if you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more, go ahead and like and subscribe. I would appreciate it so much. And if you have any questions about reselling or thread up or just, you know, eBay, I, I, if you, if this is your first time watching my videos, I sell mostly on eBay. It's just because that's what I'm used to. And I have another full-time job, so I don't really have a whole lot of time and energy to spend on new platforms. But if you have any questions about reselling, you are more than welcome to reach out and I will, you know, try to answer any questions as best I can. Um, you can also find me on Instagram. I am teach and thrift. I really appreciate you guys sticking around till the end and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.